Morning Sunshine's Pokemon news time. We're gonna go through some really good news that you guys are gonna look forward to. Mystery gifts. Not one, but five are coming very, very shortly for everyone to get, as well as a giveaway update that we're gonna talk about in a sec, and something new for Pokemon Scarlet Violet that's gonna help you guys try to get an image of the actual world map. So let's have a look. First of all, guys, congratulations to our Discord. We managed to make it to Discord Partner over in the Discord. Over 80,000 Pokemon fans in there. If you guys wanna get access to that kind of kind of huge community you can link is down below in the description for everybody to use to be able to join this now new partnered discord so have fun in there loads of activities going on all the time raiding trading and the giveaways and all sorts just people playing together you name it you got it in there because i mean there's 80,000 people it's very very active discord a lot of people online all the time so go check that out link is in the description next up is uh, update giveaway as you guys know we did extend the legendaries for pokemon sword and shield for another week that is coming up to an end next sunday so we are going to be moving on to the Pokemon Legends Arceus giveaway I mentioned before, which is going to be all six starters available in the game, which is the Gen 4 starters and then the Hisuian starters right here. They're all going to be the unevolved form, so you'll be able to evolve them yourselves as you wish. They'll be all alpha, shiny, and with your original trainer. That's going to apply to all four of them, so... Uh, oh, sorry, all six of them, rather. So go ahead and drop us up if you want to stay on top of that. See how that works on Sunday. I'll be doing a dedicated video to show you guys how you can get your hands on them. And that's where you're going to be able to find the info. Next up, the Japanese Pokemon company just did a video very, very shortly ago in which they showcased that we're going to be getting these mystery gifts over the course of August and next month. If you don't watch the anime and you're wondering what's going on here, why such a random selection of Pokemon, all of these Pokemon here are apparently Ash's in anime team at the moment. And we're going to be able to get our hands on every single one with Ash's original trainer. However, it's going to be Japanese. It's OT is Satoshi in Japan. So it's going to be Satoshi's OT. However, you're going to be to get your hands on all of these over the course of the next month starting next week so the giveaway starts on the 12th of august and it's going to end on the 16th of september and the first one we're getting is this fossil right up here and we'll be going through them and in order to get the entire ashes team we'll be getting all of them don't worry guys it'll be spaced out like bit by bit the gengar is g max as well worth noting however sadly none of them are shiny so if you guys are wondering well there you go i mean it's still cool that we're going to be getting satoshi mystery gifts the ot is satoshi as you can see because it's japanese let's zoom in on that uh, so satoshi is the japanese name for ash and i mean it's still cool that we're going to be able to get them they seem to be pretty high level level 80s and that's solid. That is absolutely solid. Pikachu is holding the light ball. We got the leak over on our Surfetched. And then nothing held on this one. And no held items on the other ones either by the looks of it. This right here is an image of that said anime team in action. And that's, I don't watch the anime myself, guys. So if you guys do watch the anime, this is probably pretty hype for everyone. It's a nice little gift. Actually, it's six gifts. So that's pretty sweet. I just realized I said five earlier. I was actually taking of this one. Now, these are the mystery gifts for Japan exclusive, which you have to visit a cinema uh, like at different times, different movies to be able to get your hands on a code. However, like I said, guys, at the end of August, I will be doing a giveaway for all five of these mystery gifts as well. So stick around. That will be my own giveaway distribution distribution for these because otherwise you'd have to actually visit the cinema in Japan and go to the right movies to get your codes on these. So packed full of mystery gifts to this month folks or next month and this month it's going to be busy so if you guys do want to get your hands on the, all of these mystery gifts from august and september drop a sub stick around we will be doing videos to let you know when you can get them as they go live finally guys there's this new interactive map here created by razvan rusu okay and obviously a lot of other people have chipped in to try and map out what we saw from the trailers on the actual map itself this picture of the map is found on the website sites however it's a very big size and we can interact with it and see all the different little locations that they have here so let's hover over this area right here you can see a little picture of the gateway they've done a very very good job on it and it shows like like this person this place is perfect so as you can see it's like right near the icy mountain with the waterfall coming down and in the picture you can see us riding the bike legendary with the icy mountain and the waterfall coming down there now you might not look it might not look like a deserty area. There's a little bit of the brown ground over here, but we also got a lush green part on the other side of the camera behind us in that sense, if we're looking at the picture. So it's very hard to tell, but people are doing great work at being able to put in. We even mapped out some areas over here, which I think is intriguing. Here we have the uh, Paldean Whooper over here in the swamp, which we presume is this muddy area on the map here. We even have all the way up here by the clouds, us climbing up the cliff 
based off of what the view we have here is. So, I mean, some of these could be wrong, guys, but I think they're doing a pretty good job in general at trying to pinpoint what we saw, where we saw it. And uh, you can see them all here. So I think that's overlooking some of the, the lake and the mountains. Uh, you can see in the picture some of the, the red mountain over here and the lake watery area as well. So probably over there. Then we have some of the buildings entering the vortex area. People are speculating that it's gonna be this area right here. Based off of high 8K zoom ins of the map, guys, people are deciding that that's what this area is. It's a built up little kind of town or city right beside the vortex area. I'd be very intrigued at that. And you can see in the background there, the steep cliffs kind of going up is probably what this area is. We got a whole bunch of zoom ins of the main city. Right there, that's the stairs in the center of the city. Then we got the uh, above view as well. And then we got another side view. So there's a lot to look at in this map and they're constantly updating it. So that's pretty cool. I will leave a link for anyone who wants to explore it themselves right down below in the description. So you guys can have fun with that and see it as it develops. Well, that's gonna be it for today's Pokemon news. Thanks for watching. Drop a sub, drop a like, drop a whatever. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Good luck on getting all the mystery gifts. Do be on top of that stuff. Cause of course, sometimes they're just for a limited time only. I will drop the video as soon as those mystery gifts go live. So everybody from all time zones have the highest chance to get them and you will be able to see it up on my channel you have those little notifications on and whatnot so guys i'll see you guys around when that all starts dropping in the next video till then have a good one bye